where else would you be able to see a giant swan and a sequined harlequin battle it out for top honours on a 30 metre by 60 metre sheet of ice? No, not the world's weirdest themed fancy dress party, but the Winter Olympic Games. In a previous episode of Burning Questions, we looked at how figure skaters stop themselves from getting dizzy. Turns out, ear hairs. <laughs> but if their incredible twists and turns don't make your head spin, their costumes certainly will. Figure skating combines elements of performance and prowess, with marks awarded for skills, choreography and interpretation. So, can choosing a costume out of the top drawer really help the skaters get the top marks? Let's look at the evidence. Brian Boitano Sergeant Pepperash Gelp certainly did the trick, with the American taking gold in Calgary in 1988. Oksana Bayul was pretty in pink for a gold medal winning performance in 1994, a bedazzled bubblegum pink number to be precise, while this fashion-forward sleeveless pantsuit helped power Sarah Hughes to glory in Salt Lake City 2002. I mean, I'm not sure I could pull that off. Perhaps the most flamboyant of all is American skater Johnny Weir. He once compared one of his costumes to a Care Bear on acid. But he is best known for his interpretation of a swan, for his routine to Camille Sanson's score of the same name. Weir took to the ice in a costume that featured feathers across the chest, crisscross strapping over one arm and a single red glove meant to signify the bird's beak. So, can how you dress really help your blade to glory? It certainly does seem like feeling confident and being able to express yourself on the ice can make help a good impression on the judges. So. To whom do figure skaters turn when they want to stand out from the crowd? This. Just 20 quid from a market in Grimsby. Guys, I'm not skating. I'm just acting. Fashion designers such as Vera Wang, herself a former figure skater, and Christian Lacroix have both brought their unique creative visions to the ice. But despite what you might think judging by some of the weird and wonderful costumes on display, what skaters wear is actually governed by a strict set of rules. Because if there's one thing we all love more than fancy dress, it's fancy dress with rules. Yes, please. Costumes must be modest, dignified and appropriate for athletic competition and not garish or theatrical in design. What's that mean? But the rules don't say anything about crystals. Sometimes there are up to 100,000 of them, all of which have to be sewn on by hand. This can take anything up to 40 hours to apply. 40 hours? That's like four working weeks for me. So, how much do these sparkly pieces of spandex actually cost? Elite level costumes can cost anything between $500 to $5,000, although the average is around $3,000. Elite level skaters usually have two costumes per season, one for their long program and one for their short program. They might also have a third costume just in case someone turns up in their same outfit. I hate it when that happens. That means they can spend up to $10,000 a year just on costuming. That's more than Lady Gaga's costume budget. Speaking of Lady Gaga, how big a role does choosing the right music play in bringing you to the edge of glory? <laughs> it's good stuff. Figure skaters will often choose music with different moods or tempos so they can skate to the melody and phrasing of the music. Certain pieces have become figure skating staples. Swan Lake has been popular since bronze medalist Janet Lynn used the piece in 1972. Ravel's Bolero is forever associated with ice dancing pair Jane Torval and Christopher Dean, who skated to gold in Sarajevo in 1984. And of course, who could forget the Battle of the Carmens in 1988? East German Katarina Witt and American Debbie Thomas both chose to skate to the music for their long programs, with Witt doing the of business to take the gold. Um, Carmen is written by Bizet. That's why I did that joke. You no need to Google it. And the good news for Gaga fans is that since 2014, skaters have been allowed to choose music with words for their performances. So expect some pop-inspired performances in Pyeongchang. I bet you my house Gangnam Style has used at least once. But I, I don't have a house. So there you have it. Figure skating is a huge investment of time, energy and money. But it don't mean a thing 
If it ain't got that bling. We're not done yet. We've got more Olympic stories for you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is right there. Don't be shy. Click on the button.